Yeah. We in here. So good, popping, cracking, percolating. Really good in the hood. It's man Theo Butler. And uh y'all see the title. I don't even want to act like that. First of all, shout out to my fellow devil dog, Juju. Pick it, picking it up. I'm 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 picking this is up. I'm picking this. Is, I'm I'm reading this this in here yonder. I, I am. I'm I'm reading this in here yonder. And, and and as I was reading it, I was like, damn. This 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 dude is really he he's really a Black Panther fan. Like I don't like he put his foot off in this thing like he he did this. He 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 did this. Like I don't want to act like that. Like he he did this. He he did. Like Maurice Brodus Brodus. I want to make sure I'm pronouncing the name right. What's going on, come on, yo? He did his thing. Like he he did that. Now, and and it, it occurred to me that for him to be writing this as well as he did, he got to be a Black Panther fan. <laughs> like. No, 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 for real. Like, no, no. He he for real, real. Cause I I was reading, I was like, damn. Stuff that's not common knowledge is in this book. Like you you're not getting it ain't it ain't in the MCU. That's that's what I'm saying. What he got in here is not in the MCU. And so I'm like, hmm. Wow. So he read comics. That 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 what that 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 what that is. Heard he might be supposed to be black comic lord might supposed to be on this show. Whatever. But I like Mr. Broadus. He read comics. Like that that's what that is. Well, hold on. We got we got Kamoyo Black Panther uh, fan club president in the building. Not tell him salute Afro in here. What's going on? What's going on? D. Steezel, Rock Women Nation president, is in the building. Y'all watch what y'all say. So I'm like, well, I was happy. <laughs> like I was like, you don't understand. Like, if if you read Black Panther comic books, he put a smile on your face. If you don't read Black Panther comic books, you sit up here like, wow. Then it made me think about some stuff. I, I had to. Y'all know me. I'm a comic book fan. Y'all done heard me quote the question, you know, mention the question a lot. <laughs> I have broken films everywhere. People <laughs> <on> the top. <laughs> broken films everywhere. People pissing on the child like they just don't care. <laughs> don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep it. Yeah, it did. Because I, 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 I'm I, reading a book. I'm reading a book. And I don't, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to go <laughs> go with me when I, a lot of good cooking in MCU Shields today, giving a cap for it. Listen, me and D Real going to talk about that later on tonight at 9 30. <laughs> So y'all make sure y'all got y'all notifications on for his channel. Me and my brother tag team, and we're going to talk about some Captain America. <laughs> we're going we gonna to come at it from a pure petty angle. But uh, the book, like this, if, you, if you're a Black Panther comic book fan, go get this. <laughs> You owe it to yourself. You know, treat yourself. Thank you. Birthday gift. I appreciate it, man. Good looking. Good God Almighty Jesus. Like, boy, look, somebody. I did something, though. Mr. Smith said I got a discerning spirit. I did something. I went and I looked at the publication date. Because I was curious. I, I was checking for something. And uh, this book was published in 2004. 
This book was published in 2000, 2024. I'm sorry, 2024. 2024. This book, this book was published in 2024. When they kill a character off. I'm going somewhere with this one. I'm going, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. When they kill the character off. 2022. When they tell you they was gonna kill the character off. 2020. When did they know they didn't want the character to wear the mantle again? What's going on, Juju? What's going on? That's my man. Listen, Juju, thank you so much for this. I appreciate this. Y'all can thank Juju for this video right now. <laughs> You low key can. <laughs> when did they say they were gonna kill the character? Two thousand twenty. When did they say they were gonna remove the mantle from the character? May twenty eighteen. This book came out two thirty. This this book came out in two thousand twenty four. You you know when this book came out? Thank you, Ms. Karama Horn. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, by the way. 2022. What came out in 2022? Do you know? I know what came out in 2022. You do too. Now, whether or not you saw it or not, something totally different, but you know what came out in 2022. Now, at first glance, you would think that this book would support the movie that came out in 2022. But no, this book, like the book, this is 616. Ain't none of this MCU related. Both of these are 616. Comic book related. 2024. 2022. Wait a minute. Hold on for a second. <laughs> this came out in 2022. This 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 came out in 2022. It it did. This this came out in 2022. Want to make sure I give people their props cuz I gave Karama Horn and, and Mr. Uh, Maurice Broder State Props, right? Evan Narcisse. Yeah. Got, got to give the props, right? Got. I got T'Challa here. I got the Dora Milaje here. And I got T'Challa here again. Um. Uh, by the way, this is this is also six one six. Hey, this this right here, this this ain't got nothing to do with the with the nineteen ninety nine ninety nine. It, it, it don't. This ain't got nothing to do with the nineteen ninety nine. This is twenty eighteen. Now this this would be what I would put out to get you hyped to go see the movie. This is what I would put out to get you hyped to go see the movie. It is. Hopefully get you hyped to go to the comic book store, but definitely, definitely to get you hyped to go see the movie. But it's comic book information in here. I would like to think that Every female that went to go see Black Panther 2, because the Dora Milaje would feature heavily in that movie, that they would have went to go buy this. Once again, this is all comic book information. It ain't the MCU. You know everything on here has the Marvel logo on it. Everything on here has the Marvel logo on it. Black Panther, T'Challa Declassified, Black Panther, Protectors of Wakanda, 
Black Panther, Wakanda Atlas, Black Panther, the ultimate guy. All of this has the Marvel logo on it, every last bit of it. I'm gonna tell y'all where I'm going in a second. I'm gonna keep it with the notes, man. I man, my brother came came through like a big dog uh with the uh with the book. Like I said, it, it he's the reason. <laughs> he the reason for the season. <laughs> He the reason for the season right now, so that that that's where we at with it. He he remember he he remember for the season. So Marvel Studios then went real real hard to distance themselves from this character. Though. They have, you know it, I know it, we know it, cause we Black Panther fans. Two thousand twenty-one, wasn't that John really? Two thousand twenty-one, two thousand twenty-two, wasn't that John really? Theo, what are you getting at? Well, shout out to Mark with a C. Like he says, we are being watched. It's almost this many. I could be wrong. I, I, I could. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. I'm of the mindset that the. Uh, They were going to do that character real, real dirty in the comments. Real, real dirty in the comments because don't none of this paint T'Challa in a bad light. No, no, don't, 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 none of this paint T'Challa in a, none of these paint to Chala, none of it paint, and it's been since 2022. You know what else is crazy? Didn't we get a T'Challa action figure this year? I want to think about something for a second. Because I know when they drop this figure to support Black Panther Wakanda forever, they just said this was the Black Panther. They didn't put his name on it. This action figure just dropped. And they went above and beyond to say this was T'Challa. Theo, what are you saying? They did want to do our boy dirty. They, they wanted to do him dirty. Uh, ain't the gaming studio making a Black Panther game asking us questions? Tell them to just read all three books. We talked to them. We did. What's going on, Big Ten? What's going on? Uh, the knowledge has to be expanded. It does. It does. Which, if you think about the games, though, and I tell them, to your point, the game, they started talking about the games around about the time frame John Ridley was writing Black Panther. And around about the time frame John really was writing Black Panther, Marvel Studios wasn't showing that character no love, none, none whatsoever. What am I saying? I'm saying, yeah, they are watching us. They, they, they are. Because these books are not for the movie fans. Who this for? No, no, for real. If you got these books, if you don't have them, I advise you to get them, pick them up, read them, um, add them to your library. A lot of wealth and knowledge there, but since 2022, they're not talking to the movie fans. We can put the, the photo that I got right that the photo that I got right now on Twitter. You can share the photo. You got to put the video link up there. Don't know Andrew Recaster had it. Now, how you a Black Panther fan and you don't have either one of these books? Once again, I'm gonna say it. These books are not about the MCU. They're not. They're about the 616. Well, you have quite a few people going above and beyond to tell us T'Challa dead is Toussaint, this, TJ, that. Don't call him a bastard, this, that, then, the third. They can't have these books. These books are written with a pro T'Challa slant to them. These books are written with a 
Wakanda has never been conquered slant to it. These books talk about bass. These books talk about Black Panthers from back in the day that they ain't even talking about mentioning in the MCU, regardless of whether we're talking live action, eyes of Wakanda. There's no. No. D Real said it last night. He, this right here, like, damn, this this the kryptonite to the MCU. But I'm not even going to approach it from that angle. You say you're a Black Panther fan. I'm a question that. I'm 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 a question that. I'm a question that going forward. I I am. I'm I'm a question that going forward. I I, I, I am. I'm sorry, and I I I got the right to do that. I'm, I'm a question that going forward. It's no different than if watch this. It's no different than if a Mason wanted to question your behind out there on the street because he think you got on on the wrong paraphernalia. It's no different than if an Eastern star want to pull up on you because she feel like you got. It's no different than if a brother from the Alphas or the Omegas want to pull up on you because it, it's no different than if a Shriner want to pull up on you because it, it's no different. There are requirements on the table. Charlatans, frauds, impersonators are not accepted. And just because you call yourself the DJ of Wakanda, don't make your ass the DJ of Wakanda. I'm sorry. It don't. Mm -mm. No. No, just like Superman fans will vet you, Star Wars fans will vet you, Star Trek fans will vet you. Black Panther fans gonna start vetting people as of today. You don't get to claim it no more. Mm -mm. It's it's dues being paid out here. It's membership fees being paid. <laughs> Like, okay, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people going to be around here getting dragged for impersonating a Black Panther. Don't be the one impersonating the Black Panther fan uh, from which you came. <laughs> really didn't get canned until, until we started making noise and it went viral. That BS was, no, yep, that's what it was. That's what that was. Tim Madison Bozeman uh, gets praise for making sure they use more African accents. But I much prefer British accents and, and T'Challa with super genius and Edge, though. Uh, without that and food, wait, 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 hold on. Nah, that to me, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Esjatic, that's still settling. Because you saying, well, I got more T'Challa over here, so I'll take this. No, stop saying that. Stop saying that. Because ain't no Superman saying, well, I got more Clark over here. No, demand every damn thing. Don't say, well, because I'm not accepting T'Challa. I'm not accepting no Wakanda with no damn British accent. Just like I ain't accepting no dumbass, no dumbass Black Panther. I ain't accepting no dumbass Black Panther. I ain't accept. What was this at? Okay. Dang. I'm not, I'm not accepting. Damn, Plant Poppy, I think your gift came here. I'm not accepting no dumbass Black Panther. I'm not accepting no weak ass Black Panther. I'm not accepting no Black Panther with no British accent. And we as Black Panther fans have got to stop suggesting settling. At, at the very least, on my lives, on my pages, don't say it with to me within earshot because I'm not settling for nothing. At soon to be 56, I done seen way too many other people not settle for a damn thing. Suggestions like that is why Black folks in America still got to deal with voting rights. That's why. We got too, because we settle too damn much. We make suggestions for compromising. I don't want to turn this video into that, but watch this. T'Challa ain't compromising a damn thing. We Black Panther fans. What we compromise? What we settling for? What we even suggested we settle for? Why is that even a talk? Now you got my blood boiling. <laughs> It's Friday. No, I, no, my blood ain't boiling. <laughs> Juju is right. Um, I guess I don't think about the accent much because we read the comments mostly. We do our own mental accent, so it doesn't feel. And, and you know, and you're not wrong in that. We do. 
we do, we read it the way we talk. We absolutely do. We read it the way we talk. So you're not wrong for that. You and I'm not faulting you for that. We do. We uh, no, I don't know. I wish I could tell. <laughs> no, I don't read in the Wakanda accent. <laughs> but watch this. I don't read in the British accent either. <laughs> I don't read in the Jamaican accent. I don't I don't read in the Spanish. I don't know. I just I read like I read. I read like I talk. So I'm with you. I'm with you. It's just we should demand all of it and on the auspices of the actor who demanded on the auspices of the character who demanded it on the auspices just the strength of jack kirby and stan lee two two jewish guys who didn't settle for a damn thing when it came to creating t'challa well if the jewish dudes ain't settled for a damn thing when it came to creating t'challa i ain't settling for a damn thing as a t'challa fan now that I, now now i'm saying something now watch this that's crazy how do two jewish dudes have more courage and conviction to stand behind the black character during the civil rights movement than black folks in 2024 2020 2021, 2023. I said it. I ain't taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on? I read Black Panther and his African accent have done so for years. I ain't gonna tell. I, I didn't do that. I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna act like that. I knew it was act. I knew it was African. Um, what's what's going? Miss May Ken is in the building. What's going on? What's going on? So on what what Juju say? Let me get back up to my brother Juju. What Juju say? Uh, really, dear, he right. We made that fuss. That's what Buddy got got slighted. Juju, we did, but there's also fans on the inside. It, there, um, D. Steezel, um, I think it was the um, Bean Counters who said, "Hell no, we are selling too much to China merchant." <laughs> and it might be, it might be, because then you have to ask yourself, well. Aside from the book that Karama Horn wrote, T'Challa on all the covers. Like T'Challa on all the covers. What 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 we talking about? Do, do we know how many Black Panther action figures then came out since the movie? I'm gonna help you out. And I'm talking about T'Challa. I ain't talking about nobody else. Okay, that came out again. That that came out of uh, this. One. This one came out again. Okay, well, they dropped that one when the movie came out. This, both both these now I, crazy enough. Both of these came out when Black Panther two came out. Both both of these both of these came out. Okay, well, this just dropped. This. This, this, this right here. This, okay, that's three, right? Hold on. That's three. That's, that's four. That, 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 that's five. That's, that's five. So, what, what are we talking? Three Hasbro legends, and then two more from overseas, where, where the price tag is not to be confused with a Hasbro Marvel Legend price tag. That that that. I'm, I'm gonna say it one more time. Mind you, them action figures started popping up when folks started saying, "Oh, you killing off the child? We ain't going to Black Panther two. Yeah, these that what these that spirits right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's last year. Early last year. Early last year. The the merch makers, the toy manufacturer. Oh, we y'all say y'all need some T'Challa. Y'all say y'all need some T'Challa. Say less, we got you. I don't want nobody thinking I did a wrong. I bought her, but I bought her. I I bought her. Uh, I I I I bought her. You know one of them loud voices for recast T'Challa. 
I, I bought her. I, I, I bought her. But that's the only her that made like that. Like, it ain't the two shooty action figures. It's Black Panther. That's it. You you got two is shooty, the nerd, and then you got two is shooty, the Black Panther. That, that's, that's it. But T'Challa, I said a couple of days ago, I said it's a difference between a Black Panther, a superhero movie fan and a superhero comic book fan. Right. You can't tell me you're a Black Panther fan because there's not been enough done in, in the MCU for you to know a damn thing about Black Panther. You, you don't, if your only feel of Black Panther is the MCU, you don't know a damn thing. If the, if your only feel of Chadwick Boseman is the MCU, you don't know a damn thing about actor or character. That's that's crazy to me. That's that's wild. But you a Black Panther fan? I'm gonna start questioning that. I got rights. I, I can do I can do that. I'm gonna keep up with these notes. I'm gonna start questioning that. Uh, we need M. Telly action figure. You know, as 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 a fan group, as as we went on to customize uh, the most dangerous man alive action figure, uh, as as we went on to to customize Griot Shooting, um, as Mr. Ray Smith has went and customized the Eve Ewing action figure, um, and some of us right now are working on customizing. Our very own hunter action figure on um, White Wolf. I'm I'm of the mindset that uh, we we as a fan group we 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 probably have to customize him. Tell I don't I don't see that happen. Which is you you can't be a Black Panther fan and don't read comics. <laughs> I don't want to throw that out there like that, but that's almost what that is like. It's way too much damn going on in the MCU. At, like, damn, like Mr. Brodus. I felt the same way reading from him, the same way I, re I, I felt reading from Karama Horn. I was like, so y'all really comic book fans, huh? Y'all, y'all ain't just talking, y'all comic book fans. Y'all, y'all die hard comic book fans. Like, this, they didn't write this for the MCU. That's that. You see where I'm going with this? What they gave us, what they wrote, ain't for the MCU fan. If you don't read comics, this ain't for you. This way over your head. <laughs> this way over your head. Zane Beto in the building. What's going on, Zane Beto? What's going on? Like, I don't. I don't know. Uh, let me get up here to pass my Black Panther test. You need to know King Solomon's fraud automatic fail if you haven't heard of him. Listen, I ain't mad at that either. I, I, I ain't mad at that. That make all the sense in the world. That make all the sense in the world to me. Um, let me see. Miss May Kent Entertainment Media has been quiet. They can't even ask questions of Ryan Coogler to question him on why killing off the most historic character in history of mainstream comics. He, he can't answer. No, they better not. He won't get another interview asking that dude that question. <laughs> he won't get another interview if you ask that dude that question. So, yeah, so I don't even know how you, in, in good faith, on social media, you saying T'Challa shouldn't be recast with this out here. You, you, because this ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with TJ. This, this ain't got a damn thing to do with TJ. No, this all to y'all. This, 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 this all. Juju, thank you again, bro. This, this, this restored my confidence a little bit. <laughs> restored my confidence in confidence. <laughs> While I was feeling bad, I was like, ah, damn. Not damn. Like, You 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 can't go you can't go wrong you 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 cannot you cannot go wrong you you just you you can't you can't really go wrong like I you can't 
you can't you can't go wrong. You 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 can't go wrong. You can't you can't go wrong. Like, and this is why I say I ain't pressed. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is why I say right here, I ain't pressed. You, we sitting up here right now. It's 18, 17 folks in the chat. We care more, no more about this damn character and all the other surrounding characters and everybody and their mom at the MCU. No, I'm not pressed. I'm not. Eyes of Wakanda well. What 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 they what the eyes of Wakanda gonna tell me that, that's in this book? Not a damn thing. <laughs> Let me see. Man, thank you again, bro. Like, I really do appreciate that. Kugler runs from any interview where he will be pressed to actually answer any real... I would, too. I I, I would, too. I, I would, too. I would. And, and listen, if, if, if you're trying to get them Disney dollars, if you're trying to... Get, I guess what I'm saying is, don't let us get you in trouble. <laughs> if, 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 your, if your business... Is is built off the relationship you got with with Disney Marvel Studio? Don't let us get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, I say that as somebody who who want to see everybody eat. Do not let us get you in trouble. If you know asking that question gonna get your your coin short, don't do that. Now. If you if you if you ten toes down and you don't care, yeah, because we still waiting on them questions to be asked. But yeah, I don't. How you a Black Panther fan and you ain't got damn one of these books? Like which? I don't even know what to say between Marvel Unlimited and I. And it's crazy. I know Marvel Studios. Like, bro, we wouldn't mind hiring you, but as much as you talk good about us, you talk bad about us at the same thing. Constructive criticism. I'm fair. I don't I don't know how you get it wrong as a Black Panther fan. Marvel Unlimited $9.99 a month. The Black Panther Wakanda Atlas, which been out since 2018. You was stoked, you was happy. It's Black Panther was supposed to be a, a cultural phenomenon event. I would have thought everybody named Mama would have went to all the damn bookstores and bought all the damn books and everything like that regarding Black Panther. I guess not. But 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 you 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 ain't got this. Then you got the Wakanda Atlas. You got the Ultimate Guide 2018. You got the Wakanda Atlas 2022. Then, and I know I ain't trying to say it like that, but a woman did write the book, the handbook for the door. A woman, a black woman, wrote it. Black a black woman. Watch this. A black woman who's a comic book fan wrote the Dora Milaje handbook, 2022. You can buy it on eBay for the low. You ain't even got to pay full price for it. But that says something in and of itself because she wrote it. She's a comic book fan, though. So you, you, I don't know what to tell you if you just satisfied with the movie because it, it ain't got nothing to do with the damn movie. Then you got Brodus, Maurice. Ma Ma Maurice. Ma Maurice. You know what? I'm going to do this right here. Because um, I got this right here. Um, I'm trying to find something real quick. Uh, shout out to Plant Poppy. He did something. Y'all hold what you got real quick. Um, we, this this video just got turned into an unboxing too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go get the Exacto knife. Hold on, I'm gonna go get the Exacto knife. I'll be right back. Did not know it was outside. So we back. We back. Don't take long. Maybe I just need to get another Exacto knife instead of. Moving them from place to place, having exacto knife in the office and having exacto knife in the room. So we got this, but uh, yeah, I don't. I got questions. The reason why I got the questions is because clearly these are MCU fans. 
this book is reading stuff. It's good knowledge and stuff like that. I would just think that if you were a Black Panther fan, you would want to know as much about the character and the surrounding characters as possible. And everybody does a great job in, in, in getting that. And Shay Gamaya is, me. oh my God. Y'all know when I do these videos and I say, you got to read the, the title surrounding Black Panther. You just can't read the primary title because if you just read the primary title, it'd be some stuff in there. You would, man, okay. The stuff from Wakanda, the stuff from Marvel Voices, the stuff from Wakanda Forever. You got listen. If you ain't got them, you got to go get them. If you're a Black Panther fan, and I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what the problem is. We, we, we've been so used to being occasional fans, but when you're a fan, fan, oh man, a fan, a fan, 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 fans, fan, fans do stuff. Fan fans do some stuff. Fan fans do some stuff. I think what it is is we got so used to being the fan of the other character, we didn't realize how much we love this character. But if you fans of this character, fan fan, oh, you just can't be like, well, I'm just gonna watch the MCU and that's gonna be it. No, that can't. Uh, that can't be it. So, uh, this right here, young plant poppy said this. Um, he, he sent me the uh the coffee mug yesterday that if you saw the live this morning, I had the coffee mug. He, he now he did ask me a question. He did. No, it ain't plant poppy. I'm sorry. No. Juju. <laughs> it's what knocked out the book in the first place. So essentially, th this is what this is. Damn, they but they don't be playing, do they? They just put this. Essentially, what wind up happening? I had the money set aside for this. They took it out my account for this. So this just came in the mail today. This is the second one. I'll be keeping this here. Uh, I'm just gonna say, look at God, because uh, low key I did want to one to be who he was gonna be, and one for customization purposes. So I guess that worked out. Oh, uh, it's crazy. When that was not looking for that. So, but I guess that means that Plant Poppy's gift will be here tomorrow. That said, though, you're a Black Panther fan. I'm not knocking. People got to do what they're going to do. But I don't know right now, as it stands, after reading this book, which was printed in 2024, published 2024. This book was published in 2024. This 2024. This book was published in 2022. This book was published in 2022. All three books speak highly of T'Challa. This book published 2018. You ain't got no choice but to speak highly of T'Challa because as Nate Moore said in February 2018, to get folks to fall in love with Wakanda, you must first what? Get them to fall in love with T'Challa. Well, we know after that, three months later, we didn't give two dams about T'Challa. Folks can say what they want to, the actor died. Y'all know I'm the keeper of receipts. We know they wanted Chadwick Boseman to move over to Disney Plus. We don't need to act surprised by that. Don Cheadle is over there on Disney Plus, as is Samuel L. Jackson. So nobody needs to be acting. So Martin Steam, I believe his name was over there. So no, nobody needs to be acting. So as a matter of fact, um, Anthony Mackie showed up. So nobody needs to be acting like actors can't show up on Disney Plus from high value. That's not what Chadwick Boseman wanted to do. We already knew that. We already knew what Derek Bozeman said on December 8th. Don't know how somebody think what he said was sexist unless somebody got sexist issues they're harboring themselves. Yes, females can be sexist. I said it. I don't know how anybody did not know it was going to be Shorty. No, it wasn't going to be Okoye. No, it was not going to be Nakia. It was Shorty. Derek told you on December 8th it was going to be Shorty. So it's crazy because I just sit back. The studios, the studio, the comic book company, 
had a direction in mind they wanted to go. I'm going to say it again. The studio, the comic book company, had a direction that they wanted to go. Well, the comic book company put out comics every week. They can't afford to take them L's like that every week. They, they can't. They can't afford to do what the studio going to do. So, no, they, they got to get that ship. They got to get that course corrected sooner than later. Well, when did it really start writing? 2021, 2022, what do we say? He got to go? Get him on up out of here. Get him on up out of here. What is Recast the Child doing at that same point in time? Voicing their concerns, legitimate concerns. Damn what stupid folks got to say, i.e. anti-recasters. No, Recast the Child is articulating why they got a problem with the movie. Doing it well and uh, recast the child ain't backing down from nobody, ain't accepting no excuses whatsoever. Guess who said, Oh, yeah, they ain't stupid? And they should have been the first ones to realize they wasn't stupid because their whole business is built off of what the written word. And if anybody knows fans of T'Challa ain't stupid, it would have been the comic book company. It would have been the comic book company. And watch how this go. Because I had somebody say something to me. And I get it. I know what we meant by it. But the killing joke is canon. The killing joke is canon. Death in the family, that happened in the graphic novel. That's canon. God loves man kills. The X-Men, that happened in the graphic novel. That's canon. The death of Captain Marvel. That happened in a graphic novel. That's canon. The writers from these publications, the Black Panther, the Ultimate God, Evan Narcisse, Karama Horn, Protectors of Wakanda. Make sure I'm giving everybody their due props here and everything like that. Evan Narcisse. My other brother at right here. Make sure I get the brother. Stephen Wynn, why check? Mm hmm. Maurice Broden, Karama Horn, them all comic book fans. Them, them, them all comic book fans. They ain't write nothing that had not a damn thing to do with the MCU in either publication. 2018. Two from 2022, one from 2024, and give two dams about the MCU. Nope. It's got Marvel logo on it. They don't care nothing about the MCU. No. So as an MCU fan, you don't know what you think you know at all. And Marvel Comics, the entertainment side that deals with publication, they don't give two dams about the MCU. So what just just think about this. If the publication side don't give two dams about the MCU and the publication side predates the MCU, I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. It says a lot that two Jewish dudes had more courage and conviction and integrity and intestinal fortitude in the civil rights era to stand up for this character during then, back then. When you think about the folks, black folks, that's don't give two dams about this character today. That says a lot. That 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 say a lot right there. That that say a lot. That say a lot. You might not want it to say that. Yeah, that say a lot. That say a lot. That, yeah, that say a lot. That 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 say a lot because they created the character. Watch this. You looking at the character, anti recasters for one person. Well, two Jewish dudes created the character for a whole people. And I, I'm not trying to be funny, but uh, as a Trekkie, I think it goes something like this. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. I think so. I could be wrong. You know, I'm a Trekkie. I'm a Trekkie. I could be. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Great. Oh, Mr. Ray Smith and Grand Madam are in the building. My mentor is in the building. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Ray Smith. What's going on? Grand Madam is in the building. How you doing, Grand Madam? 
what is going on. Yep, Killing Joke wasn't originally canned until it blew. Yep. So I, I just I just want folks to understand when we say certain stuff, let's let's act like we understand it's certain stuff that happen in graphic novels that's canon. So I don't, you know, and that's when folks say, well, if it happened in this book, it ain't canon. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Which would make you ask the question, why have they went so hard? To research the canon of the comic and establish the canon in the comic in these periodicals. Now you own them, you own them, you want to own them, you're in the process of owning them, you're getting it. Well, if you just an MCU fan, what can you tell me about Bast? That's a fair question. It's an important question. If you're a Black Panther fan, and all you go to is to the movies, what can you tell me about Mosi? And that's significant. That matters. That's part of his history. You should want to know it as a Black Panther fan. Unless you've just been lying for the past six years, past four, hell, past eight. You just been lying. You just been wanting to be popular. You know what? When I look at these books and I read these books, I actually am embarrassed for some people because I say to myself, how did you ever do a video and say that Black Panther fans had an issue with Azuri? Black Panther fans had an issue with 1943 because T'Challa was in it. You, you shouldn't have been able to say that. No, nobody that conducts themselves as a credible Black Panther fan should be able to speak any type of nonsense and dribble. Not when I sit back and if I want to say it for what it is, I look at these books and they put the work in, I would have put in. That's the shame of it all, or, or, or the simplicity of it all, if you will. They put the work in, I would have put in. They put the work in, I have put in. They just put it in printed form. And for that, my hat is off to each and every last one of them. I salute them, because there's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a lot of work that goes into that. While you might be watching a movie, they're studying the character. You're watching the Transformers, they're studying T'Challa. You reading about G.I. Joe, they're studying T'Challa. You trying to figure out the next action figure to get from Valiverse, they're studying T'Challa and everything Wakanda. They just dropped a new cartoon, Snoopy does this. You don't give two dams because you studying T'Challa. Oh, they talking about the Invincibles? You ain't got time to worry about the Invincibles because you studying T'Challa. Oh, they got the boys, new episode of the boys? You don't have time. You don't have time to even read another damn comic book because you studying, backtracing, backstepping, everything with Black Panther, Wakanda. If you've never done it, you don't know how, it, I don't, you do not know how much time that takes. And they did it. They did it. I salute them. I, 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 you got to care about the character to even want to do it. That's the other part. You're not doing this if you don't care. The paycheck can be the paycheck. But if you don't care, you're not doing this. This takes time and effort. Time and effort that you as a Black Panther fan should be more than happy to appreciate by spending your funds to read it so that you can be a part of that Black Panther fan group that's knowledgeable and not just be a part of that Black Panther fan group that wants to be seen. They are two different things. Uh, I'm going to keep up with these notes and then I'm going to get y'all, I'm going to get on up out of here. Got to get ready for my brother D Real tonight. We got we got this show. We bring y'all away at 930 uh, Eastern time. 
what's going on. Shattuck said, what, what, what not a Shattuck drop? The issue ain't even really with 1940. It's uh, more the fact that the cliffhanger game didn't even confirm. Black, yep. Unlike the Wolverine, yeah. The Iron Man game just came out. Yes, Tony. That's the other thing. I, I, I wish we could get to the, I'm going to tell you what, what I wish. So, full transparency, I had seen something. I was talking to my brother D-Real and um, D-Real and Kamoyo King, author books and everything like that. And I had made an assumption about somebody. I didn't make it publicly. See what I just said? I didn't make it publicly. Now, mind you, with just the three of us talking, I went, showed them something. Just the three of us. We cool. But integrity, intestinal fortitude is almost like that thing when they say about the parking lot. You can tell the difference between a good person and a bad person by who does what when they know nobody's watching. The good person going to take the buggy back. Ain't nobody got to say nothing. Oh, I got the buggy. Let me take it back. I apologize. I say, fellas, I got that one wrong. Now, mind you, they don't necessarily too. We don't necessarily partic particularly care about the person who I made a wrong assumption about. We don't. We just don't. But what we say over here, not right, not wrong, accuracy. I wasn't accurate. I apologize. Hey, fellas, I misspoke on that one. I ain't get that one right. Rush to conclusion. This is what the person meant. Integrity, intestinal fortitude. If you say you're a Black Panther fan, well, just know it's there are those of us that are like the Shriners, like the Masons, Eastern Stars, Soror, like um, for to fraternity, right? You know, we 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 act like that. You know, uh, me and Juju and I. Or uh, Marine Corps veterans. So, you know, right. Get your knowledge up. Get your knowledge up and stop insulting people just because they've done that, which you either lack the intestinal fortitude to do, or you don't care to do. Study up on their favorite character. I'm a, I'm, if y'all got questions, get on up out of here and everything like that. Just saying the Black Panther is sus nowadays. Um, I, listen, they, they, they over there in the MCU. <laughs> uh, Grand Madam, what does that book speak about in specific? Which one? This one, man, listen. If you're talking about this one right here, man, it, it starts off from Shangamire, but it gets into basically writing it from the character's perspective, from an Everett Ross perspective, from a Henry Peter Jairic perspective, from a Shooty perspective. They talk about Hunter in here, how Hunter interacted with his siblings, and, and that's in the first few pages. <laughs> like, they touch on stuff in here they ain't even thought about talking about in the, in, in the MCU at all. Uh, I feel like these books should be in school libraries as well as public libraries. Need somebody to teach them. Um, need somebody to teach him. Um, and and I would watch this. Uh, I would go so far if the character is as culturally relevant as the media likes to say. Well, play, and I, I'm I'm happy for him. I, I believe it was something because rap is culturally um, fundamental. Poi was hired to teach classes at FAMU in regards to hip hop rap. I believe that to be significant, especially when you look at what we had during the, the late 90s. We had Public Enemy fight the power. We had such songs as We All in the Same Game. We had self destruction, things of that nature. Um, hip hop was, was, was a movement back then. Um, so I, I do believe. It needs to be taught. I believe the significance of 
comic book characters in black culture matters. And the reason why I say I was watching something today, um, I know Mr. Ray Smith has talked about it numerous times when he and I talk. You talk about Ty Rock and, 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 and how Ty Rock was, was initially uh, created. And, and then we look at, there was a, another hero um, supposed to be saying, oh, shout a name or whatever, shouts his name, turns from a white racist to a black superhero. We got that. Um, you look at how John Stewart, his initial, initial introduction into um, comics was as the angry black man. They tried to paint it a different way, but he shows up on the comics. He got a scowl on his face. Uh, when you look at uh, Fastos and how Fastos's melanation has been played with in the comics throughout the years to where people don't even recognize him or even know who he is. Even when we talk about black children in comics right now, as it stands, we only have thunder and lightning and they have been kids since for damn near 20 years. Now, when I say kids, adolescents, they have been aged up and everything. Meanwhile, we got Franklin Richards and Valerie over here, but I can clearly see that we got Luke Cage and, Jessica, Drone, Jessica Jones over here, they got a kid together and nothing. So I believe that's something that could be taught, something that could be to the forefront, but to the point of the comics, I think Black Panther fans, Black people who just go to the, just go to the movies are doing themselves a huge disservice because they don't know. And in rather learning, going back and forth with brothers and sisters who do know, who do know. Well, you the one who being made to look like a damn fool. You the one that's being made to look like a fool. You got me looking like a fool with you because we share the same damn, same damn skin complexion. And then you got the audacity to get mad because I'm not signing up for that stupidity. It's stupid because you just want damn research. You'd rather be loud. You'd rather go to the store and buy your damn clothes. Well, you know what? Go buy education. How about that? And this type of education, you ain't even got to pay for. It's free because you ain't got to go to the comic book store. You don't. There's too much Black Panther knowledge on social media. You probably got a friend that's a Black Panther fan. But damn, that's. Thank you, Juju. <laughs> Like that's all I can say. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Um, Sunspot is my go-to it Sunspot and crazy. Ironic enough, you say Sunspot. Uh Sunspot is a black superhero. And we we don't talk about Sunspot like that. And crazy enough, um, I know myself and D Real talked about it. Sunspot is one of those black mutants that's not coming over from the Krakoa age. We don't know where he at, and that's after having a phenomenal turn in Sword, having a phenomenal turn in X Men Red. Um, you think about that. He was in what Times Runs Out. He was the one that told Reed to play. Man, listen. Sometimes you can't worry about coming up with a plan to win. Sometimes you just need to come up with a plan to make sure you don't lose. Oh, you dropping knowledge like that? That what that is? So, um. Roberto da Costa is one of ours, and he's been one of ours way before we got Miles Morales. So, just want I just wanted to throw that out there. I just want to let folks know, hey, I heard you. You're right. Yeah, we do need to be uplifting. I got the Roberto da Costa Sunspot action figure too. So, yeah, good looking on that one. Um, good look, good looking on that one, SJAT. Uh, it's because Sunspot is billed as a Latino and not Afro Latino. It is. And here's what I would say to that. We know better. We know better. And that is the thing that we as fans need to know better. And just like we shouted it out from the moon in regards to recast T'Challa, we want some better Black Panther stories. We're going to shout it out to the moon in regards to Roberto da Costa and the X-Men that's missing. Like, damn, are the dead X-Men really dead? Like, damn, did they not come back? Like, Cause damn, you had frenzy. 
you 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 had you had prodigy on that team like did did they not come back like it damn <laughs> all right but look that question good god almighty jesus um so yeah listen um war for wakanda dlc expansion the original synopsis said the child of cliffhanger games only mentions a black panther listen they want that money they they want that money if they want that money because we don't mind spending money i, I think I think it's safe to say if you a video game, as a matter of fact, hold on, cliffhanger game. Damn, let wait. Cause I ain't get this out my out my system the other day. What y'all doing? Cliffhanger games. Man, 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 let me talk to you. Cause now now I'm finna go in for real, for real. And I'm finna go in from a collector standpoint. Uh action figure. Game of verse. Get game of verse. I'm talking to y'all. Cliffhanger game. You don't want this change? So you mean to tell me, hold on. Pause. 1943. You go release action figures to put to support the damn game? You are. Who you think buying that? Ask yourself a question. Who you think buying what? You better make damn sure good and well that Black Panther costume from Missouri look like it's old as hell. You you better you better do that, or you better substitute the comic book version of Missouri in that way. That's what you better do. Matter of fact, I got you right here. Azuri need to come with two accessories, and you know which two accessories I'm talking about. Them two meat hooks. Azuri need to come with them two meat hook accessories. That Black Panther costume that, from Flags of Our Fathers, not 1943. That need to be what you put in there. That need to you better get that. The action figures. You're not trying to get that change. You're talking about a whole Black Panther game. I ain't talking about 1943 right now. I'm talking about the second cliffhanger. You don't want that game of verse money. Y'all don't want to put in the Honda in there. Be y'all don't want that money. You can put Hunter in there and get that money. Like, ain't nobody even got a Queen, a Queen Ramunda action figure yet. You just put Queen Ramunda in there and tell Hasbro to put it. Hey, go gonna put make it a Queen Ramunda action figure. Y'all don't want that. I'll be trying to help folks out. Some cats said we already had the child in games and cartoon. I said, you know what? He and you know what? He right. He right. He could he could say, and we still got the child. What he got? What what he got? I, I like when I like that talk. I like that talk. We still got the child. What you got? What you got? What, what you got? Because see, we didn't already kill one move. Like that'd be the thing. That'd be the that'd be the thing. I don't, I don't argue facts. I killed one move. Because the child wasn't in. All that talk from the anti recasters, you couldn't save it. So uh, games go heavy with stack with Mert. Yeah. So yeah. Um, all that talk from them. I, I I like when they talk tough like that. T'Challa better be in that game and kiss that game. But listen, I ain't saying, I'm just saying. They they figured out. Prodigy is on NYX, just confirmed yesterday. Okay, I, I'm 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 gonna rock with that then. Prodigy on NYX, thank you, S Jack. The Rock with Me Nation, man on the ground, S Jack is keeping. So we got Storm and we got NYX. Can somebody tell me where Sync at? <laughs> Can somebody tell me where Frenzy at? Can somebody tell me where Tempo at? Because I'm trying to figure out what's good. Let let me know, S Jack. You been you you been assigned that? Let us know where where folks at. Um, games go heavy. Yeah, games go heavy with merch. So they need they need to figure it out. Um, we we like spending money. I have had folks argue with me over Sunspot. Why? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never, never mind. Roberto is an OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? We go back though. We we go back. We go back. So folks gonna say what they want to say. Ain't nobody studying them. Ain't, ain't nobody studying it. Like I said, uh-uh. 
I think my thing gonna be you read comics. If they say no, I'm like, okay. They ain't no need me talking to you at that point in time. If you say you read comics, you say no, ain't no need me talking to you. Ain't no need none of us talk to you. Read comics? No, okay. And I, I like I like what we just said. You can't tell me nothing about how does the child how to how does the child travel back and forth through time? Huh? Oh, say hunk and here. How does the child travel back and forth? You know what? Never mind. What was the science that the child came up with? Huh? Who considers T'Challa a brother? What? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We ain't even gonna do it no more. Several pre-order games come with smaller scale statue. Listen, they need to go and get it right. They can get us a hunter. They can get us a Casper Cole. Who's mentioned in this, by the way? Like Casper Cole is talked about. <laughs> like that's that's the whole thing. Like I said. I can literally take these books right now, and I probably will, go chill out and be all in Wakanda. Like, that's the whole thing. Between these books, the knowledge that I got, the action figures that I got, yeah, all I got to do is turn on some purple lights. Maybe adjust the temperature a little bit, but and it's a beautiful day in Wakanda. That, that's where we at with it. But listen, thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate it. Listen, Juju, once again, thank you for this. Um, yeah, gonna be reading, regurgitating, um, getting it out to the to the masses and everything like that. So if you have not picked this up, go pick this up. Um, Black Panther, Protectors of Wakanda. Um, I got to get those books, all three of them. Yeah. Um, Protectors of Wakanda. I advise this. If you are a fan of Black Panther, yes, I do advise this. Um, Black Panther, Wakanda Atlas. Hey, we'll pick it up. Everything is not in the comics. Um, everything is not in the issues. We know that. We've had to go find our character in various other comics. Black Panther, the ultimate guy. Hey, go pick that up. Go pick it up. Quench your thirst for your character. Also, let's bear this in mind. Uh, the actor that folks like to say is, is for. Well, he didn't settle. He didn't compromise. I want us to understand that when we, when we think about this. This was an actor who fought for what he believed in. Talking, we talking facts. We're not talking our feelings. He fought for what he believed in. And to him, black imagery and black representation mattered. It wasn't a sacrifice. It wasn't a compromise. It wasn't a settlement. He was willing to fight for it. Well, if you say that's your actor, well, those are his mannerisms. If you say T'Challa is your character, guess what? Those are T'Challa's mannerisms as well. You cannot give up, cannot be talking about settling, cannot be talking about compromising. That can't even be to talk about nothing. If anything, Black Panther T'Challa declassified lets me know that recast T'Challa has been heard. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. If nothing else, having two titles at one point in time this year, Dr. Eve Ewan's Black Panther run and Brian Hill's Ultimate Black Panther, that lets me know that recast T'Challa has been heard loud and clear. Getting an action figure this year from Marvel Legends Hasbro Legends that clearly says T'Challa and not just Black Panther lets me know that recast T'Challa has been heard loud and clear. Well, damn it, keep talking and keep being clear. Don't be deterred by no 1943. They can do with that if they want to. You said what it was and you said why. 
We said what it was. We said why. Azuri shouldn't have locks and he shouldn't be light skinned. If they want to put that game out there like that, because they can go back and digitally take off those locks, they can go back and make his pigmentation darker. They can do all of that because, contrary to popular belief, it ain't the gaming community that's the target audience. It's Black Panther fans that are tar that's the target audience. So what you do is, as a Black Panther fan, don't settle. You know Azuri ain't got locks, don't support it. You know Azuri ain't light-skinned, don't support it. No differently than if they put out a Black Panther game, it ain't got T'Challa in it, don't support it. You ain't got to. And do you know why? Based on these books, you're not doing a damn thing wrong. Based on these books, you a credible Black Panther fan. Based on these books, Marvel Entertainment knows you, knows it. So based on these books, the video game company owes it to the Black Panther fan base, the ones that read the comic books, to get it right. They don't get it right, that's on them. Don't feel pressed to support them. Don't feel pressed to support the Black creator. Don't feel suppressed. Don't feel pressed to support anybody black that wasn't black enough to get it right. Because if black is black, if black is black, then black gonna do right by black. Oh, uh, correction. I got to get all four books. Hey man, listen, get them when you can, man. Hey man, listen. It's one of them things where I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, sit outside on the back porch with some lemonade <laughs> or some tea or some tea <laughs> like <laughs> you can sit out there and be like this this the perfect thing to do after basketball season be like this you hear the neighbors mowing the yard and everything like that you you sitting up under your umbrella like this right here Like, can I just read some T'Challa as champion of bass? You'll never hear nobody from the MCU talking like that. Memorandum from the papers of Shangamire. The role of King and Black Panther comes with certain responsibilities. One, to protect Wakanda and his people. Two, to safeguard the men and the guy. Now, I'm sorry, the men guy. Gotta make sure I do the tick. The men guy. Um which is the vibranium mound and its vibranium stores, and three, to be the religious head of the Panther cult. That dude, the whole priest. We don't even talk about that. We ain't even got to the, all we know is the fact that he could have known him and Aurora's marriage. To understand to child, wait, to be the religious head of the Panther cult, the chosen champion of Bass, do the whole past preacher, minister. <laughs> To understand T'Challa's role as the head of the Panther cult, one has to understand the role of the Black Panther. Wakanda worships a pantheon of gods known as the Orisha. When the meteor fell, it left us the Mina Gai, the Great Mount. The energies from the vibranium mutated life around it, turning flora into the heart-shaped herb. But it also painfully mutated some Wakandans turning them into demon spirits who attack their brethren. Bass test, tasked, taxed, Alumo, 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 Bashinga to protect men and guy and safeguard the nation. He closed the great mound to outsiders and stopped the spread of demon spirits. The Black Panther title is both ceremonial and religious, bestowed upon the one who has risen to become chieftain of the cult. The uniform is the religious vestment, vestment, the symbol of that office. When T'Challa returned from his time abroad, he believed himself ready to meet the challenge of becoming a Black Panther. However, he was a man of science, one who had yet to truly grapple with what faith meant, much less come to terms with what it meant to be the head of religion. Man, listen.
I ain't saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Is it like a wording? Mostly wording got a few pages. A few pages here and there, but it's mostly wording. Um, but how can I put it? Wording that that provokes you to keep reading. I'll say it that way. Um, wording that provokes you to keep reading. I, I say it that way. So um, it's not a difficult read. I, I, the best way I can say it is like this. Uh, and I think those who read Jungle Action will agree. If you have Jungle Action, read Jungle Action in comparison to these two books. Jungle Action is the more difficult read. <laughs> Jungle Action would be the more difficult read out of all four books. So uh, if you read Jungle Action, you'll be able to read these. Listen, I'm out. Thank y'all so much. Like I said, make sure y'all got y'all notifications on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got from it what I was trying to get out. Essentially, if you're a Black Panther fan, I, I consider these to be essential reading. Uh, anybody who calls himself a Black Panther fan, no, nah, you you, you got to. No, nah, you, you got to want to do so because they Black Panther fans. And I, I think that's the thing that moves me more than anything else. They put the work in and it shows me how much they care about the character because they put work in. We have as of yet to see anybody do in the MCU. Like we have not gotten this type of research, this type of dedication in regards to any type of script writing from the first movie. To, to the second movie. We, we haven't gotten anything like that. And it's easy to see these people cared where they did. So once again, a decision being made in a matter of minutes, I get it. You don't give it two dams. Once again, trying to move, we want to take the mantle off T'Challa three months after the movie premiered in the movie theaters. Once again, I get it. You're not a comic book fan. What I don't like is the lie. That means T'Challa was just used to make money. And after you got money off of T'Challa in the first film, you felt like I can get more money by just putting it on a female in the second movie, put it on a child in the third movie. That's all it is, is a grab bag. No dedication whatsoever to the character. You're supposed to be black, dude. Karama Horn and Maurice Brodus, Stephen Wycheck. and Evan Narcisse. What they did was they just made it real. They just made it abundantly clear. Kevin Feige, the MCU, the cast and crew, they never gave two dams about, watch this. Forget them not caring about T'Challa. What they just showed me, these four individuals, they just showed me nobody from the cast and crew gave a damn about the IP, period. Not nothing regarding Wakanda, point blank, period. So what am I saying? I'm saying Letitia Wright don't give two dams about Shorty. I'm saying Lupita Nyong'o don't give two dams about Nakia. I'm saying Angela Bassett don't give two dams about Ramonda. I'm saying old girl don't give two dams about um, Okoye. I'm saying they don't give two dams. All they want to do is get paid. These people show me more in their writing. They care than the cast and crew has showed me throughout two films. And I shouldn't be able to say that considering how moving, how culturally impactful this character is supposed to be. I'm not even supposed to say that, but I can say it because it's the truth. Um, I'm out. Click, like, share, subscribe, take care of yourself. Don't want to be able to talk to you. I'm going to say, don't want to have to talk about you. I want to be able to talk to you. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, please.